Hey guys, welcome back to Coffin Up Stitches. Today I will be teaching you how to do a closed granny square. So what you'll need for this project is a pair of scissors, a yarn needle. I am using a I or 5.25 millimeter and a four weight yarn. This is Red Hearts Country Blue. So how you're gonna start this is like everything else, you're gonna do a granny square. And then you're gonna chain five. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. You're gonna go back down to this last chain here, the first one you made, and you're gonna do a slip stitch. And I always put my finger right there where the extra yarn is just to make sure my hole, you know, I know where my hole is. Pull that through there, and then you're gonna chain four. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna double crochet three. So yarn over, go through the hole, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. And you're gonna do that two more times. So two more double crochets. And then what you're gonna do next is you're gonna do one treble crochet. So you wrap your yarn twice around your hook and then you just go through your hole, pull up a loop, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two, wrap, and pull through two. And then we're gonna do three more double crochets. You're gonna do one more treble crochet. Like I said, wrap your yarn twice, go through your hole, pull up a loop, go through two, go through two, go through two. We're gonna do three more double crochets. We're gonna do another treble crochet. And then three more double crochets. That would be Savage, my kitty cat that you just seen walk across the screen and I think she might be coming back again, so you'll have to excuse her. So after you do the treble and then three more double crochets, you're gonna go up and find the third loop from the chain that you started with. So one, two, three. I just find it easier to use the end of my hook to kind of pick that first one up instead of trying to go through both of them. Just kind of make sure that you're going over that bottom loop right there. You're gonna slip stitch and then you're gonna chain four. One, two, three, 
four, and then you're gonna put two double crochet, not in this, this hole here, but in that one right there, that little bitty one that you can see. We're gonna shove two double crochets in there. I know it's small real estate, and it can be kind of iffy to get in there at times, but I promise you this is probably one of the better um, granny squares I like doing. I make it for baby blankets, cardigans, uh, baklavas, I think I'm saying that right. And then after we get those two put in there, we're gonna go one, two, three double crochets, okay? So still not using that big hole, but going right here and doing three more double crochets. Just one in each stitch across for three counts. And then you're gonna get where you made that first treble crochet right here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put two double crochets right here. And then you're gonna do another triple and it's all going in the same stitch right here. So again, wrap your hook twice, pull up a loop, go through two, go through two, go through two. After you get that triple crochet in there, you're gonna go, I always kinda like scoot mine over a little bit. You're gonna go back in that same hole and do two more double crochets, okay? So in a corner, which is what your tri uh, treble crochet will make, it's two double crochets, a treble crochet, and then two double crochets all in that same little corner piece right there. And then just like on the other side, you're gonna have three more double crochets to do. And then you come to another corner. So two more double crochets in that same stitch right there in the corner. And then you're gonna do a treble crochet. And then two more double crochets. And you can see the corner is already starting to form. So then you have three double crochets going across here. And then you're coming back to this corner. So two double crochets. A treble crochet, wrap your hook twice, pull up a loop pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Now get me some more yarn here. We've got two double crochets, a treble, and then two more double crochets in that corner to finish out the corner. And then we've got three more here that where we can do three double crochets here in these um, stitches here. So one, two, three. So when you get to this point right here, you don't have this stitch right here where your four is coming out where you started from. So to end that off and have that corner to be square, you're gonna put two double crochets in there. And then you're gonna find the top of this chain that you made. I always kind of pull it down a little bit and you can count your stitches. There's one, two, three. You're gonna go in the third one. And 
and you're going to slip stitch and do four chains again. One, two, three, four. And you're gonna go in here and do two double crochets, just like we did last time. And then I think there's like seven across going through here. So we'll count them together. You don't have, now you're on your, this is gonna be your third row you're starting. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six and seven so you'll have seven stitches going across and make just seven double crochets in each stitch so there's seven stitches and one double crochet in each stitch i'm sorry i misspoke you're gonna come to this corner two double crochets in the same stitch and then you're gonna do a treble crochet in the same stitch. And then two more double crochets in that same stitch to make that corner. So you've got one, two double crochets in the same stitch, a treble crochet, and then one, two more double crochets in that same stitch to make up that corner. And then we're gonna have seven stitches across this side, just like we did the other. Put one double crochet in each one of those. Back to another corner, two double crochets. Sorry guys, my yarn's not wanting to come unwound pretty good, so I have to keep stopping and getting some more out off of here, so. It's a new ball, so it's it's kind of tight. So it, I have to unwind it a little bit before it starts getting loose enough to pull through freely. So two double crochets, and then we're gonna do a triple in that same hole. Oh, wait, I done a double, didn't I? Okay, so a treble crochet in the same hole that the two doubles went in. And then two double crochets in that same corner space. And then seven more across here. Another corner, so two double crochets. Another triple. Two more double crochets. And then seven double crochets across this top here one double crochet in each stitch across the top. And then to close this off, this round off, you're gonna go in here and do two double crochets.
Like I said, you're gonna count one, two, three. Slip stitch. Then if you want to start another row, you're gonna go up one, two, three, four, two double crochets in that same space that we took the chain out of. Sorry, I think I got off camera a little bit there. We're gonna do one more round. with you guys. So in this round, we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11. Come to a corner, two doubles, triple, Two doubles. Now on each side of, of uh, this granny square here, you're gonna have 11 stitches going around, going on each side and then your corner and then 11, corner and 11, and then you're going, we're gonna connect right here again. It's a very easy pattern. You can throw on a movie, do as many squares as you want. You can turn it into a cardigan, um, an adult size throw, a baby blanket, a car seat cover. There is many, many things you can do with granny squares and there's all different kinds. And I would like to go through all the granny squares. So I'm gonna start doing something called granny square sunday so every sunday morning afternoon time i will be uploading a new video on granny squares it'll be a different granny square every sunday that's what i'm planning on doing This one will actually, um, this, this square, this color, this country blue, I'm actually making for a client of mine. Him and his wife are expecting their first child. So I'll be using this baby blue with some form of purple, probably a dark purple. So I'll probably actually end up making 24 squares. And when I get ready to connect them, I will bring you guys back on here to do a um, stitch together tutorial. His wife wants, they're having a little boy and his wife wants me to incorporate purple somehow because that's her favorite color. And the baby is due in January. So I've got plenty of time to get it done and anything else I wanna do take my time on it um, you can also make purses with with these scarves um, you could make like a bottom part of a sock and then do like um, like a two round uh, granny crochet just just this just what your foundation round and then this one that actually turns it into a square and puts you some small ones around the ankle. 
I've seen people do like um, headbands with them. If you've got you some of what I call dental floss thread, because that's what it reminds me of is dental floss, the size of it. You could even make you like a really cute pair of earrings to go, uh, just little square earrings with whatever color you have or two colors. I mean, the, the amount of things you can do with a granny square is astonishing. Um, with me, I didn't learn how to do a granny square until I was probably into my third project. I seen this really cute jumper and I wanted to make it. Sadly, I don't have that jumper anymore because I have fluctuated in weight. <laughs> so I eventually just got rid of it because it was stretched out and it, it didn't fit right. And I was like, I just wanna get rid of it. Let somebody else get some use out of it. Um, but that's when I learned how to do a granny square and then my world opened up. You could make a really simple, really big granny square, which would be the same concept, just going around and around but you could make two and make you a really big poncho with it. I mean, like I said, this is probably one of the things that you definitely want to have in your crochet knowledge little corner inside your brain because there is so many different kinds and then there's so many different things you can do with them. Like I said, this one's gonna be a baby blanket. Um, I've made a jumper with it. And then I've also just had like a short sleeve shirt with it. People's made faux, faux collars with them because when you do those, you, you gotta know how to do a mitered granny square, which we'll also be learning um, in the near future. We will just be slowly going through the granny squares every Sunday until we can get at least 10. I at least we'll try to do five, five to 10. Savage, honey. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. She is, she is on me tonight, buddy. There's one, two, three. You're gonna go up in here. Like I said, I always hook mine that way just so I know I'm getting that first one. And then I go through this second one. She's moving my camera. <laughs> Oh my goodness, she is a hoot, let me tell you. So you pull through, then pull through that loop. So if this is where you wanna end, which this is where I wanna end because I'm making it for a baby blanket, you're gonna pull through that loop, take your scissors, you're gonna cut it, <laughs> and then wrap it and pull through there and just tighten that down. So you're gonna have some ends to weave in, obviously. Let go, <laughs> savage. <laughs> you don't have some ends to weave in, so you just want you. Sometimes you can take a smaller hook and just weave your ends in through that way. Or you, if you have a um, tapestry needle or a wool needle, I like the wool needles with the little um, like fishing wire end on them. I think they hold up really well. But this is what your square should look like. And if you have like a big hole right here, which I normally do, I crochet over. Sorry, trying to move her. But I crochet over my little end here and you can pull that end and make that tighter if you want to. You can do that after you get done doing the circle and you get started or you can do it at the end. These little holes here, they, they, I know they look big, but once you wash and block it and dry it and everything, those holes are going to kind of fill in. It's just because, you know, you're sending your hook through there, but it's like anything else. Once you wash, it kind of closes up, but that is just a small granny square for you guys. Sorry about all the kitty cat problems sometimes she wants to be with me sometimes she don't but an easy way also to count your rounds if you're following a pattern and they like you want six rounds or ten rounds or whatever what you want to do is I count this as round number one and so you count these ridges there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twen
two, three. Okay, so you got three squares or you can go one, two, three, four. <clears throat> I normally do one, two, three, four. So if you're watching my tutorial, I would say you're gonna do four four rounds or four, four squares in this pattern. So for me, I would say four squares. Like I said, you can get you a tapestry needle. You wanna weave this one in in a circle and you can weave this one in going this way or down that way or have it going underneath the stitches. Just make sure that when you go to put these together that you remember which one is the wrong side and which one is the right side. For me, it's an interchangeable one. So I always say my wrong side is the one with my where my tails are sewn in. Cause you don't want nobody seeing that if it starts sticking out, you don't want them sticking out everywhere if any of that happens. But yeah, this is just a simple, simple little granny square tutorial for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I want to try to keep this growing and I will see you guys in my next video that will be next Sunday and we will do another granny square. Thank you and have a great day.